right, everybody, welcome back. This is Total War Age of Charlemagne. Attila! And, uh, right now, we're just sieging this Pavia, um, and we'll see if it's worth it. If, you know, that's something we want to do down the line. Down the line! Um, but, uh, let's see here. What are we doing outside of that? Uh, we have quite a bit of money. Um, I do want to build a city. We'll see. Not build a city, but improve the city. Uh, fields, that's always good. Uh, let's see. Trading posts, some growth and wealth. Yeah, let's do a trading posts. That sounds good. I'm all about economies and stuff. Economies and stuff? Yeah, I like those. And let's build a fishing port. Alright, then we'll save. go all right uh, and then I want to go ahead and see well we'll see what happens here we'll go ahead and save and then turn I'll always my save. wits and words are yours zeal zeal's good all right see what happens well, there. Island of Corsica is freaking out. Okay. Oh, is that my spy? He's back. You failure. Yeah, you may serve by not fucking up like last time, bro. Bro! Let's see what happens. Yeah, pretty high level chance of succeeding. I'm sorry about this, guys. But like I said, I'm not going to settle. Uh, however, I want to get going on this attack so we can start replenishing these units. Uh, so we're going to auto-resolve. Stance, and we're going to kick their ass. And we shall occupy. Ready for battle. A frank promise. Desiderius bristles with defiance, refusing to return the land stolen by his forebears. March on the Lombard capital, seize it, and establish yourself as the protector of God's domain in that. Ah! Okay, that was that was our. So we got the Pope's blessing. The Pope considers you good and honest Christian, one who has the church's best interests at heart. As such, he has bestowed upon you his blessing. Plus 80 diplomatic relations with other Christian factions and religious influence plus 10 Christianity faction wide for the next 20 turns. Hell to the yes. Let's go ahead and rebuild all this. And our soldiers should we be replenishing. Ooh, we can upgrade them? Let's just upgrade everyone. Upgraded, yeah. And they will start healing, and we're just going to start conquering this whole area. Because I have been ordained by Holy God to do so. Which is a great excuse to do anything that you want. Ooh, we've got more undeveloped land. People need to be building stuff. I don't want to build spend too much money, though. Hostile. Public order enables Asia assassins. Yeah. I gotta stop spending money. Now that I can actually afford to build buildings, I'm going to, like overboard on it. So I hope all is well for everybody. I'm glad you guys are still joining me. Oh, well, eh, kind of. My first episode of this series got a lot and then it kind of fell off. Maybe they didn't like my play style. Probably because I sucked in the beginning. Alright, the Lombard capital has fallen. These men without God have been silenced and the God-fearing everywhere. Lord, rejoice! Papal lands are protected and the pious are free to go about God's work once more. Desiderius proved himself uh, oops, proved himself unfit to rule. You had no choice but to depose him. 
His former kingdom, now free from temptation and sin, is under your protection. You wear the iron crown of Lombard, of Lombardy, forged with a nail from the true cross. The eyes of Europe look to you for leadership, justice, and gilding hand. Take this un unprecedented power and status and go forth. We're not done yet. We gotta take the rest of it. Uh, sounds like we gotta build some some food when we can. We have a food shortage right now. Oh, you know, I wonder if I can go back and uh, I don't remember if I'm not charging any settlements. Good. Okay. Still happy. Okay. Okay, taxing, taxing, taxing. I think we're taxing everybody else. Yeah. Cool. So we're getting our taxes in again. Food went way down, though. So we can build some stuff for food. That'd be great. Thanks. Um, market village. Does that give us food? No, it takes food. Jesus. Here we go. Anything we can do to build food in here? Smith, Muster Hall, Hostel. Hmm. Not really. Fields. Food, right there. More food. I spent a shit ton of money, so I'll have to say, but I just want to make sure you do not want to get into like a famine. You know, that's just, that'll just take everything down. So that was worth spending on. And it's pretty cool. You can name your own armies. Uh, I haven't been doing so just because, ah, I don't know. Um, I, I guess I just because I don't have quite the, like, the knowledge of this, of the Carolingian uh, Renaissance as I do other times of history uh, so I don't really like, know what would be an appropriate name I mean probably God stuff which is another area that <sighs> but uh, like you know with my Roman campaign they're all numbered legions and stuff like that and cohorts and all that words can be all that is between people but we would like trade as well if you agree it yeah, I love trade. I didn't even know I wasn't trading. I'm trying to get traded like everywhere I can. Oh, jeez. This is a solar eclipse, people. Silly heads. Alright, so everything's been repaired. Ready for battle. Our soldiers are getting healing. So it's really a matter of where we're going. Ooh, there's an army out here. Okay. I am a shadow. Go, go spy on them. So I'm thinking of Commander. doing. Just putting them we out here. We hunger for battle. Going into fortress. You mode. may as well get comfy, men. And then, oops, not an agent. Raise forces. Who's our best? Uh, so this guy is 32 years old. He's got the highest influence. He's got good integrity. We'll go with him. Where's his army? Commander. To your duties, men. Let's go ahead and give them a break on taxation. So they hate us a little bit less. Ready for orders. He can be upgraded. Cool. Okay. And then 
most fat recruiting units. Ooh, armored swordsman. We can get armored spearmen. What? Sweet. Look at the difference, though. And what's the upkeep like? 198 to 50. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. Medium, medium. Well, I don't want to overdo it because those guys are really expensive, even though they're fantastic. So we'll build one, it is a great two, and glorious three, thing to serve four of your these people. units. But four of those units, four of the regular spearmen, and then we'll build some swordsmen to go with that. Like three of each. And then some cavalry. My lord is willing to lay down the sword. It is not often that he is moved to mercy. What, 230? You're still at war with all these people, though, so no. So there's four of them that we build. Soldiering. It's a good four life. Them, or three of them. And then we'll move on from there. Once I get to a certain level here, because what do we carry as far as let's see here? Taxes. We should definitely have a governor if we can. Candidates. Okay. I guess I can't appoint a governor. Governors. Yeah, these guys. There we go. General in Lombardy here. Oh, we have the maximum amount of governors? Fuck. Alright. I don't, I don't really know how that works, to be honest. It's kind of a newer, a newer thing for in, this, in this game, so. Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and save again. I just want to build up this army so we can get back to At war. your service. I haven't been using this guy much because we have pretty much we have Christianity like everywhere. I'll send him over here though because there's less on that eastern side of our kingdom. Boo doo doo boo doo boo. So there's the king and his full sized army. So, here we are. Wow, we finished our campaign campaign planning. Awesome. So, it means we're going to go back to civil. So, we can either do ship mail. Elements may be harnessed for man's best advantage. I wish the kings. Property and revenues are ordered. So, his rule may be unfettered by bureaucracy. Imperium plus 20 Imperium points. Oof. Uh, sorry, ship mail. i got to build this. Research this. Ready for battle. Ah! Yeah, build. We need good fighters. Come fight Three with us. These guys. And Sign up, two of these guys. Good and glorious life. Are you ready to serve? These guys. We'll just build up the whole army. So we need four more units. So it'll be cavalry. It is a great and glorious thing to go. serve your people. Full army. Now. That's going to cost quite a bit of money, uh, and including upkeep. Commander. Let's see if we can downgrade any upkeep here. Orders. I don't think we need these cavalry when we're defending, but we might need them when we go out and open battle. I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to disband these four units. Save us some cash. OK, 
because our war is down here, so. I am yours to command. Your order. Right, I'm just kind of exploring Stop everything. The There's the king right there. Gotta, gotta fight him at some point. We'll go ahead and save. And the turn again. This has been a really good DLC so far. Like a lot of time, these like some of these DLCs are kind of half baked and kind of blah. Um, they are just not very detailed. I did not get to play the Last Roman. I'd really like to. It seemed a little bit more limited in scope, though. This is like you know, you kind of get the, you know, if you pick the, uh, you know, kind of if you want to go with kind of the main storyline, if you will, if you want to be Charlemagne and pick the, the Franks. The Lord is a stern general, and at his order, our armies. Um, but if you think of Franks, I mean, you're kind of given this, like, really powerful army, which is kind of different from the rest of Attila, because usually you're on the run, you know, Attila's coming down to destroy you, or you're, like, playing Rome, and everyone's attacking from every angle. Ooh, surplus of population. I don't have very much money, though, so be kind of careful with what we build. Um... Chapel. I'm all about economy when I'm building. Obviously, sometimes you need military, but this city needs a port. So next next time that has something available, we will build a port. Back in Italy, Commander. Let's see here. Ready for so they're just getting built. I, I'd say they're big enough to protect the city now. So, ready for battle. Put them in a regular stance. There's armies over here. I'm gonna take them all the way up here. See if we can egg these guys on. The just kind of egg these guys on here. Because if we can fight them and take them out of the picture, great for me. At your service. Then we'll take Verona. And Bologna, and then these guys will come down. Oh, Genova! Oh, Genova's been taken over by these guys. Uh, the Duchy of Provence. Uh, let's see if we're how we are with Provence. We are friendly and trading. All right. Well. Ooh, we're not trading with them. Well, that needs to change. There's a good pork roasting for you, and better ale and mead, said the son. The Lord Yay. will rejoice at the words we have. Yay, everyone celebrate. Be most welcome. Your uh, words will find trade. an attentive audience. Yay, everybody's happy. You have the ear of my people. Do not waste They're words. Not, well, they don't like us very much. Alright, fine. Fuck you too, bro. They don't like us. You honor us. There's food. There we go. So we got a little bit more trade going. I should have done that earlier. I don't know why I didn't look earlier. Okay, so we'll do one final turn here before ending the episode for today. See what happens here. Oh, they ran away. I was hoping I'd egg them on into a fight. Glory, wealth, and a place in the histories. All of these will be ours when we are united as friends. Huh? Hmm. Why not? You serve God and your people well with this. Oh, thank you, sir. All these daughters being bored. All right, guys. Well, I believe I'm going to move on and attack Verona. At your command. Not during the winter, though. So we're going to wait until next turn, or next, also the next episode. Once again, thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you next time.
on Total War Attila.